undetected footprint. We are talking about 21-year-old Drake Lyons Kramer. He went missing on January 31st of 2015 in the Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona. He was enrolled to study geology at the University of Texas. He was last seen on Sunday, February 1st of 2015 near the Bright Angel Lodge on the south rim of the Grand Canyon National Park. He was reported missing the next day by his parents, Robin and Brenda Kramer. He left his vehicle, a white, a white 2007 Mazda 323 with the Texas license plate number of CSK 1767 at the lodge and has never been heard from again. Drake stayed the night as a guest at the Bright Angel Lodge. Checking out the next morning, he sent his family a strange text message before his disappearance in which he wrote he had to give his body to Mother Earth. The family was surprised he had driven to California and then on to the Grand Canyon. They last saw him on January 29th when they went to see the film American Sniper and he was reported to be in good spirits according to his father. It was very unlike him to travel to places like the Grand Canyon alone but he had been to the area two to three times before. He was very experienced in the outdoors. Park rangers Search and rescue team searched the South Rim area from Hermit's Rest on the west side to Grand View on the east for around six days. The Park Service said they had teams of searchers walk miles along the canyon rim, search heavily forested areas, utilize dog teams, performed several over the rim technical searches conducted multiple area reconnaissance missions to support ground searches, but it was all to no avail. Rangers said while the weather was daytime in the 60s, it had been good. The terrain being searched was flat on top of the rim, but rocky and unstable just off the edge. It can be a challenge. There are trees down there, there are shrubs, there are rocks. The canyon walls are often shaded depending on the time of day you go. It's a real mix of terrain, which makes it very difficult to work in. Drake's text message to his parents of his desire to return to Mother Earth may have just been a reference to a need to escape to the outdoors. It is unusual in this area of the south rim of Grand Canyon that no sign of him or his remains have been found. At the time of his disappearance, he worked at a Lowe's store. He had gotten an associate's degree from Northwest Vista College and recently transferred to the University of Texas at San Antonio to study geology. His father described him as frugal a hard worker and a good student was who loved nature. To this day, here we are in 2024, his case remains unsolved. Up next on News 4, they speak about Drake's disappearance. This video was done January 29th, 2016. I haven't seen any newer videos on the news of them speaking about his disappearance. Let's take a look. Good evening. It has been one year of questions now, but very few answers after a San Antonio man just vanished at the Grand Canyon. Tonight, News for San Antonio's Ashley King shows us how his family is renewing the search effort one year later. 
365 days. We're just waiting, waiting to hear something. And no word from 22-year-old Drake Kramer. A year ago today was the last time I saw Drake. Kramer vanished last February. He was last seen checking out of a Grand Canyon hotel. I don't know. I don't know if he's just out there trekking around, trying to find himself. You know, I don't know if something happened to him. His family is now packing up and planning to head west to renew the search efforts. So we're going to stop at all the rest areas on the way or as many as we can, many places we can. They plan to pass out these car magnets, business cards and stickers, anything to get the word out about the missing man. All we can do is spread his picture and, and hope for, that somebody will recognize him or a little ray of sunshine would help at this point. After Kramer disappeared, Grand Canyon officials searched for him for a week but found nothing. Some speculate he might have committed suicide since his last text to his father was cryptic, saying he needed to be back with Mother Earth and set his soul free. Do you guys think he's still alive or? Until there's proof otherwise, I have to believe he still is. They're also holding on to hope because of a letter he left that his stepmother now has tattooed on her arm. It says, I truly love and cherish every soul I met and will meet in this lifetime. Love Drake Lyons Kramer. It doesn't seem to me like somebody who's was going to kill themselves. And the Kramers are hopeful their trip to the Grand Canyon will be a positive one. They have a total of six people going with them. Then family in Arizona will join in on the search. Of course, we'll let you know what they find. Ashley King, News 4. Let's hope and pray that one day his family can find out what happened to him and where he is at and that they can have closure.